So cyber security, it's a very investigative career, so you have to be a Sherlock Holmes, like the, the 999 sort of responders for computers. I'm Tamsin, I'm 20 years old and I'm a cyber security apprentice. So I get up in the morning uh, really early, usually about six. Good boy, so handsome. Because I take so long to do my makeup, I'm usually always late for my bus. So the bus ride into work usually takes about 20 minutes, always scraping onto the time when I'm supposed to be in. So the reason I picked an apprenticeship is actually just because I really wanted to go to university. So when I got the offer that I could not only go to university, get a degree, but also work, and it was everything that I really wanted to spend the next three years doing. I've always been interested in computer science just because I think computers are really fun and cool, and they've been an integral part of my life since I was about eight when I got my first laptop. So when I did computer science GCSE, I was honestly really surprised at how easy I found some of the modules and how much I enjoyed doing it. The first thing that I do is go and check what's happened over the last week and what's happened over the night when everyone's been asleep. A lot of the time the hackers are awake so I look at the threats that have occurred overnight and hopefully nothing has which means I can get on with my normal day-to-day -day job. So we can see that the United States is really red and that's because they've actually submitted the most samples today. You know most of them have been Trojans and Trojans are one of the biggest concerns that we have. They can completely devastate a system or a computer. So cyber security is the art of protecting things. It's a very investigative career, sometimes even creating threats so you know how to patch against them. I think a lot of people think that cyber security and most STEM careers in general are really male dominated, but I think it's really important to look back through history and all of the women at NASA who sent you know, astronauts to the moon and me being here is amplifying my voice is what means that nowadays we see a lot more women and a lot more young girls in this industry and in this career. My ultimate goal is to become a chief technical officer. It's one of the highest sort of technical ranks. I think there are a lot of stereotypes about apprenticeships and a lot of people would probably think that if someone was doing an apprenticeship, they were doing something manual like bricklaying or construction. So it's really interesting and really important to note that we have degree apprenticeships available like the one I'm doing where I finish with a bachelor's degree of science.